Welcome to Tax Law GH and welcome to our video on the new COVID-19 health recovery levy. If you stay through to the very end, what you get to know is based on the GRA's official administrative guidelines how this new levy is to be administered. Specifically, you get to know how the levy is to be computed under the VAT standard rate scheme. So specifically, how the VAT, the National Health Insurance Levy, the Ghana Education Trust Fund Levy and the COVID-19 Health Recovery Levy are to be computed. You also get to know for those under the VAT flat rate scheme, how this levy will interact with the current VAT flat rate system we have in place. And then finally, you get to know about some key provisions that have to do with the levy. And remember, before we start, that the COVID-19 Health Recovery Levy is effective from the 1st of May 2021. So to why most of us are here in the first place, how will this levy be computed for those under the standard rate for VAT? So the impact of the levy will be quite straightforward. What the GRA has said is that, let me assume we have an invoice value of 100 CD. So we have um, our invoice value of 100 CDs. So what has not changed is you compute your national health insurance levy of 2.5% on this 100 CDs. So that should give you 2 CDs 50 pesos. Then you also compute your Ghana Education Trust Fund levy also at 2.5% on this same 100 CDs base. And that should also give you 2 CDs 50 pesos. Then let's introduce the new levy, which is the COVID-19 health recovery levy, and that is at a rate of 1%. This will also be computed on the 100 CD tax base. Remember this, and that should give you one CD. What you then do is you need to sum up all of these three taxes, and that should give you 106 CDs. Now this 106 CDs is what will form the taxable value for VAT. So this will be our taxable value for VAT. Then you can then compute your VAT at the rate of 12.5%. This will be on this 106 base here and should give us 13.25. Then let's add everything together and that should give us 119.25. So this would be your total tax inclusive amount. Now, what we need to know here is that obviously for those who will be required to withhold tax under the VAT withholding system or the withholding VAT regime, the value on which you'll be withholding will now be this figure here of 106. So take note. This will be the base on which VAT will be withheld. The 7% withholding VAT will be on this particular base right here. And then finally, the impact of the new levy is that we now have 119.25. So technically, our effective VAT will now be 19.25 as opposed to the previous 18.125%. So now that we know this, let's look at what the impact on the VAT flat rate scheme will be. So for those under the VAT flat rate scheme, it's even simpler. They, let's once again assume you have an invoice value of 100 CDs. So your invoice value is 100 CDs. What has not changed is you still charge your VAT at the rate of 3% for those under the flat rate scheme. That is for wholesalers and retailers of goods. So 3% on this 100 CDs base. And that should give you 3 CDs. And then the new levy, which is the COVID-19 health recovery levy. So you charge your COVID-19 health recovery levy at the rate of 1%. And here, this will be also on the base of the 100 CDs. So that should give you one CD. So you add everything up and that should give you 104 CDs. And this is your tax inclusive 
amount so for the VAT flat rate scheme nothing complicated straightforward you compute a three percent on your hundred CD base and you also compute a one percent on that same hundred CD base unlike the standard rate scheme where you need to have some cascading effect for the taxes so now that we know how it's going to be computed for under the VAT flat rate scheme which mind you should end up giving you an effective rate of 4% as opposed to the previous 3%. And quick reminder in case you've forgotten, for those under the standard rate scheme, VAT is now effectively what? 19.25% as opposed to the previous 18.125%. So now that we know all of these things, let's look at some key provisions you must for sure know when it comes to accounting for this new levy. So when it comes to key things to know, remember the first thing is for all supplies that are exempt from VAT according to the VAT Act, the COVID-19 health recovery level will also have that same treatment. So remember all transactions, all goods and services that are exempt from VAT are also exempt from the COVID-19 health recovery levy. When it comes to goods or services that are zero rated for VAT purposes, the same will apply. COVID-19 health recovery levy will also be zero rated in that regard. When it comes to persons who are relieved from VAT under the third shadow of the VAT Act, if VAT relief treatment applies, then the COVID-19 health recovery levy will also attract a relief treatment for tax compliance or tax accounting purposes. And then remember that similar to the National Health Insurance Levy, and the Ghana Education Trust Fund levy, which are both non-deductible or non-recoverable input taxes, the COVID-19 health recovery levy is also a non-deductible or a non-recoverable input tax. And then the GRA's administrative guidelines have said clearly that we will need to separately disclose the COVID-19 health recovery levy on the face of invoices. So we expect that the GRA's um, new invoice should have a separate box for you to disclose the amount of the COVID-19 health recovery levy and when it comes to monthly accounting it hasn't changed similar to VAT similar to the National Health Insurance Levy similar to the Ghana Education Trust Fund Levy the COVID-19 health recovery levy is accounted or to be accounted for on or before the last working day of the subsequent month and remember once again that the effective date for the COVID-19 health recovery levy is the 1st of May 2021. So this has been our video on the COVID-19 health recovery levy. If you have any questions, do not forget to leave them in the comments section and we will get back to you on that. If you love this video, don't forget to smash the like button and don't forget to share this video within your entire network. We will catch you in our next video.